not know that this med was in treatment township forever. Now, that could be that I was uninformed, but someone moves into the township, how do they know that this even is available? And then you have to whittle that down, so once they're aware that, then they have particular usage, then they're going to go. Anyway, that's, we, I digress there. So, um, as our time is running short here, Oh, we're not going to do that. No, okay. No, you can make it be here all night. Just making it a point that it is one of many projects that's not the project. Maybe next year will be a good time to focus on just kind of upkeep, you know, of the, the park. And I kind of remember the budget, and that'll be something for a walk through to look at. Um, there's been a little bit done over over the years, but there's a lot more that needs to be done. You know, maybe even the basic stuff like parking. Maintaining what we've got, getting up into space and stuff, or communication with our maintenance guy, and just getting them in that. So, any other ideas for projects that people want to take on with the interim steps? And the playground gate in the ball field, we were going to be calling some of the um, redundant roof around, and then you were looking at the um, DNR. DNR and one thing we've been asking for um, that the commission had asked for is the um, a bathroom at Marcus Park. That was one of the things that came up in the survey mm -hmm. um, quite a bit the online survey. So and it's okay, we have talked to them before for, so they can put it in. It's just I'd be happy to take Marcus Park if you have a bathroom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And actually, yeah. uh, Mary Beth already contacted the first time. They said that they could do it. Oh, yeah. But there was a question of can they get it in there far enough to be, you know, up and going, you know, because of the sand and everything, can they get access to it? And they came out and they said they could, so. Well, it's I would like to do a, an assessment at Marcus Park, though. So I have a, a handicap assessment that was done um, by the Disability Network of West Michigan. I could bring that to the next meeting or email the email or whatever. Get that to you, you need it, but, you know, to do, because I'm going to try to pull some information together yep. on Marcus Park. I, I can get um, I can get those soccer nets. I just don't know how they make purchases here. I mean, I, I have a source for getting the soccer nets, but I don't know how, how they... And the soccer nets will be placed on the soccer on the well, There's a couple of goals up there. Yeah, there's two goals up there. there. Spring. No, I, I wouldn't put them on right now, but but it's in, it's in the budget right now. Right. Yeah, and so is the field in condition that you can play soccer on? I think that's what I was getting into. So, you know, like you sure. understand, well, yeah. you say sure, but we found out the ball field was not um, in legal. Con legal to play. So okay. I'm just wondering if... It's not mine. It's another, another project that we, we need to get a hold of some local soccer clubs and see if we can get someone to come in. Because if we can get them to come in and actually do the you know, line their own fields mm -hmm. and just provide the goals and the, and the nets and everything. Then and see, that, that was what I was just trying to say. So if we buy the nets, but the field is not in condition to play, will anybody play and then will the nets be a or will we have really good nets, and then if we build it, they will come, or is no one playing soccer anymore? And I and they might, and I just don't know the information. I'm not making a judgment. I'm just There's been people know. here using it. It's not anything formal. Yeah. It, the field is Which actually... Which your question is, mean, how do we know you as a change to the facility? Compared to the soccer fields that I'm used to, the fields are, I mean, that area is in really good shape. You know, and That's good. I don't think it's going to cost the seven hundred dollars for two nets. I, you know, I really don't think it is. It's not going to be that much. Um, but you know, that that's a purchase that has to be made before March, and I just don't plan on offering until you know, the other towns. 
the money. In other words, I, I want to make sure that we, we're not going to use the money just for the sake of using the money. We have the money, we must use it. Um, or our, you know, so we know this, and, and I know I, I mean, I, I hope I'm not sounding too accusatory or anything, but it has come up that I'm surprised that we say, well, you know, we don't play tennis because the tennis courts are unusable, the ball field is in regulation. I asked a question about the soccer fields because I don't know. Um, the playground equipment, we do know that that needs fixing. Um, and, and I throw that out. I just don't want to spend money just because it's here and says, and we'll use it if we don't.
that until I second the move to have a comment section at the end as well and for both public comment sessions uh, so change the time to five minutes. So we need a public comment at, at the end after the commissioner's comment yep. with a limitation of five minutes. Mm -hmm. At the start and the end. I would propose that, um, that we put that before the commissioner's comment. Okay, so before Probably, that. Yeah. Um, that's the way the township board does it, and I kind of like that. It gives, right. gives us a chance that, okay, so that just make a under, motion under the commissioner's comment that, that maybe you can throw yeah. out a little comment of, about what somebody said. I don't care what it is. Didn't put, it, last put, it right in, put it right then after the updates or yes. whatever, and, and limit it to five minutes on it. Also, just to clarify, 